subscribe to Android Discovery Channel, and press the bell icon to watch the interesting and exciting technology video first. Malife Sense 510 watch has the circular design with a bezel around it. Smartwatch has IP68 ratings for dust and water resistance. There is accelerometer, 24 hours heart rate monitor, SPO2 and even BP monitoring. It uses Bluetooth 5.0 to connect to Android and iOS devices. It weighs 60 grams with the strap. Since it has a metal zinc alloy case that you rarely see in smartwatches in the price range. The watch comes with a 22 interchangeable strap that has a leather-like finish. Additional strap also has the same finish. But the orange color doesn't suit the black case. There is a function button on the right side that lets you go back or wake up the screen, but it doesn't open anything. Other button is to launch workout modes. There, watch has a 1.3 inch 261 ppi LCD glass color touch screen. Company doesn't say if it uses any kind of scratch resistant glass. Pixel density of the screen is less compared to some watch models. So you can see the pixels when you look closely. You can set it to turn on the screen when you lift your hand. And the screen turns off in a few seconds to save power, but there is no option to extend the screen timeout limit. Touch screen is smooth to use, but the brightness is less even when you set it to full. So the sunlight legibility is less. You can adjust the brightness by swiping from the top or from settings. You can adjust it from level 1 till 5. But there is no auto brightness adjustment since it lacks an ambient light sensor. During night, level 2 is good, and level 5 is needed for daytime or outdoors. There is also an easy notification shade option when you swipe from the bottom. You can't clear individual notification, and the only way is to clear all. You can read the notifications, but can't reply to them. Swiping from the top opens a quick settings shade, which has theater mode that turns off vibration and turns the brightness down. There is also brightness adjustment, vibration toggle, weather and settings. It also shows the date, day, Bluetooth connectivity status and the battery. Main highlight of the smartwatch is the built-in calling feature, since it has a microphone and a speaker. It shows call log, and there is even a dial pad, in addition to contacts option. But you can only store 8 contacts in the watch. Calling experience is good indoors, and the microphone is able to pick up the voice well. But the speaker output is low since it is present on the back of the watch. You hardly hear the person on the other side when you are making a call when you are outdoors. Watch has 7 workout modes that includes walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball and football. You can open their workout mode just with the press of the dedicated button. Steps tracking is decent, but it is a bit off when compared to Daiso Watch or the Mi Band 5. When you launch the running mode from the watch directly, it doesn't get the GPS data from the app, instead it uses the steps to track, so the data is way off compared to other smartwatches, which use dedicated GPS or get the GPS data from the app. There is a separate outdoor running mode that uses GPS, but this is only present in the app and doesn't show the data in the way zero. Overall, the smartwatch is not recommended if you are looking for a watch for workout tracking. Smartwatch uses LED lights and photodiodes to illuminate the blood vessel for a while and monitors the heart rate. Via the change of green light absorbed, heart rate data 2 is fine when compared to other models, but the SPO2 or blood oxygen data always shows 96 or 97. When the other smartwatches and oximeter shows 99. This is the same even with the BP monitoring since it uses the same green LED to show the data. It is a 220mAh battery. A small battery for a watch that has a built-in calling feature. Company promises 3 to 4 days of battery life with calling and up to 7 days with it disabled on a single charge and 25 to 30 days standby time. So friends, how did you like this watch? Please give your thoughts in the comment box and thank you all for watching this video.